my guys welcome to the channel this is taco a valve and uh today um trying to finish this car because last night i got a body of mine that brought me this car to um check on the on the air conditioner um because it was it was not working so this is the 20th anniversary can you pop the hood and man I have to tear up all this, test all those plugs and everything to see if we got continuity. I pull and test on different, uh, different um, um, AC switch. Man, I tear up all the <laughs> car, looking for what was the problem. I also, um, I don't know if you guys can see, but down there, there's a. Uh, relay switch or something for the a uh, for the ac and uh the fans we got new fans new um compressor band and everything nothing was working and um man i was banging my head to the wall like why i mean it was working fine and not anymore i plugged the the gauges on this car and uh, I keep testing uh, different, um, what's it called? Like the, um, that um, relay in there. I keep st testing like three or four different ones. I was trying to see if I can uh, get it back to work. Nothing, nothing. <sighs> I keep like checking it. Checking the real, I mean, the fuses and everything. Man, and it's still not wanted to turn the AC on. Right here, everything was sending seal, signal back to the um, to the relay. I can test the signal. It was it was working from here to the to the relay, but nothing comes out from the relay to the AC. I straight power the relay for the AC. The AC was working and was cooling down you know i don't i was like what is going on with this so um i started to switch parts and everything and uh you can see how tear up i did on the on the car i'm sorry keep working and keep looking and um i was putting straight power into this plug right here for the ac and it was working fine we have um, good uh, AC pressure on this thing. So um, the first time he brought the car here, I find out that pressure switch, it was it was not good. So I replaced it for another one. So to me, that was um, good. I started to check all the other parts and I also um, test this um fuses um right back here if we got power back here and everything and and nothing so guys so hold look on my mess i was testing the with the gauges the battery tester more um relay because i i thought it was something wrong with the relays and um nothing it didn't want to work so um i come back and um start to looking for a another pressure switch and you know what this is the one that was wrong so i put another one in there and immediately started to work the ac started to work normally and i was like what the whole time i could just i could have just go straight to this replace it and that was it i don't have to tear up all the all the engine and everything but oh it is what it is i spent like four hours trying me and my son try to figure out what it was this one goes um right here See right there. It's to hold the the 
the power steering hose. But yeah, guys, um, so happy that this thing is back to working. So um, I want to give you guys uh, this tip. If your AC it's not working, try to test this. This one has three wires, three connections. One is ground. I'm, I'm sorry, one is power, two is um, signal, and three is the ground. So what this thing, what this thing does is, um, forget about the ground, but the power, the power, if this thing detects uh, pressure, it will switch the power from one terminal to another so it can send the, it will do like a loop. It will be sending power and then the pressure will click inside and then return that power back to the relay that is located down here and the relay will turn the fence and the ac on if this thing doesn't work i mean the majority of, of time is the relay the whole i mean that's where everything goes like the like the ac switch from inside goes to the to the relay the pressure switch goes to relay the um Compressor goes to relay. The fence goes to the relay. So it's all controlled by the uh, relay. But sometimes if one of the sensors is no good, the whole system it, it won't work. You can bypass it and everything, but um, it's best to try to find the, the solution. So um, I don't know, guys. I just wanted to give you guys this tip. If your AC ain't working or whatever, I even... Uh, we even drain, drain the the whole system. We blow, um, we blow that valve, the event, that valve down there. We took it apart, and then put the air compressor to blow all the um, the oil was sitting on the bottom of the radiator. Drain it out. We also disconnect the can um, the canister, this little cylinder. Down there, we disconnect it from the bottom. We disconnect the line that is way down there for the AC, that one right there. And blow with the air compressor all the uh, remaining liquid on the system because sometimes the system gets clogged. And that's what I was thinking, maybe it's clogged. So I, I blow it out with the air compressor and air. Sometimes that could be a problem sometimes um um the the pressure switch can be a problem most of, most of the time is the um um relay and sometimes the fans don't work and then it start causing problems back to the system so oh my goodness i went through all this and that was it this thing that was it and this is the one I replaced, I don't know, like a month ago. And I guess when it's parked, if it's too hot, I think it builds pressure. And that's what this thing blows up if it's too much pressure on this thing. That's why you have to put like exactly the ounces they they want you to put in the system. But I don't know. I mean, lately I, I've seen problems like this with the cars that are getting no AC working. And that's because too much pressure on the system. So there you go, guys. I just wanted to show you um, this quick video. And uh, stay tuned for for the next um, for the next um, project. I just want to give you a little bit. So right now, stay tuned, guys. What I'm trying to do is just put all this back together, little by little. Carefully. Okay, a little bit because everything is freshable. It's fresh. So, this car will have the AC back working. And my body is going to come to pick the car up today. There you go. The 
last one in here. Okay, always easy on this plastic, guys, because it's really brittle, 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 brittle. Okay, let's continue because I'm gonna okay. So we put it. everything back together. So now is um, the moment of the truth. this bottom right here <laughs> so let's turn the AC on yep I can definitely hear working now fans everything working now yep already blowing um cold air felt it in my face so let's just check make sure the fans are working yep Fans are full blasting. Now let's check if the air compressor is spinning. Yep, it's working. So don't zap for that. We're just gonna charge um, four hours to do this work, even if it was just um, a sensor. So um, now the customer says that this car doesn't have cruise control so we're gonna have to check the cruise control and see if it works okay so the light it's um it's there so we're gonna have to go for a test and um and see if the cruise control works or not so stay with me guys um we're just gonna take it for a spin real quick see if, oh hold on let me turn this off I guess I don't know oh there you go oh yeah we got AC Ooh, well, what's that on the windshield <laughs> so we're gonna see if we got oh, oh we got a door open there you go. Fully blasting AC. Working fine. Okay, we're waiting for two cars. They're, they are passing right here. So let's, let's go test the cruise control. Very smooth transmission. AC working pretty good. Cruise control already working. Uh, let me see. 40 miles. See? It's working. So I'm just gonna um, press the the brake pedal. So where where can we go so we can test the cruise control? Like a 50 miles at least. Bear with me, guys. Bear with me. So um, I'm gonna press the cruise control. It's rolling a little bit, but I'm gonna press the cruise control. It's activated now. The car is going on an uphill right here and it's working. See? I'm gonna press the upper button so it can increase the speed. Yep, it works. Yep, it's working. You can see. You can hear the car. I'm not touching the gas pedal. See, it's working. So, 
cruise control works. I don't need to worry about that. Um, I don't know, maybe the owner don't know how to turn the, the cruise control, but it's working. Video has proven it, that it's working. We are cruising at 40 miles. This is, I think, uh, third, third gear, third. So there it is, um, and the AC is fully blasting in cold air. So look, we are going like pretty, I don't know. Now I'm gonna turn the, the, the cruise control off. Check it, check these out. Now we are losing speed now. Let me turn it on. There it is. That's on now. So, I don't know if you guys can see, but set, set means setear at the bottom, means uh, set the cruise control when you first turn it on. Then, you increase the gas, right here, increasing the gas. You can hear the engine revving up. And down here is to uh, decrease the speed. So maybe the owner doesn't know how to operate the, the cruise control. But there it is. Um, we're going to wrap it up the video right here. And guys, um, I got a nice video for you guys. Um, I can't wait to show you um, the new project. So stay tuned for the next one, guys, and um, have a good day. Oh, also, hold on. Before everything, I really want to um, thank um, all the new subscribers. All the new subscribers. Um, we have a lot of new subscribers that are uh, visiting our channel. So thumbs up for that. And um, keep it up, guys. Share my content, content, share my channel, uh, comment what you think um, below, you know, on every video. And um, I mean, all the goodies, guys. Go wild on, on my channel, man. Like my videos and everything. It will help me a lot. And uh, maybe in the future, I can afford the, uh, pro the new project. So I'm going to show you guys in the next video. So stay tuned for the next one, guys. And... Have a um, good day.